YouTube friends and family, or shall I just say hello YouTube family? Um, today we got a brand new video, tis Manga Bari, tis me. Um, so yeah, today's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> As you can see, we're in my kitchen, and uh, I just wanted to do a video that's been brewing in my mind for a really long time, and I just thought, you know what, now's just the day to get it done. Um, this is a mug collection. Now, I'm a massive coffee drinker, well, big tea drinker, hot chocolate drinker all around. I, I like my, my hot drinks, but it's mainly coffee is my go-to. Um, I've got a DeLonghi espresso machine, which is the one. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of mugs, and I just wanted to talk about my mugs. So, I've been collecting mugs for quite a long time now. It's Well, I say quite a long time, probably been about... Uh, da, 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 off the top of my head, when did I get my first one? Since 20, I think since probably like 2017, 2018. So, yeah, it's been a while, been about three years, I'll say. Um, so we can start, we'll start in order. So my obsession just started with the first mug and it just grew from there and it just became a bit of a problem. Um, now my collection is at 12. So I've got 12 mugs now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, 12. Now this is excluding my partners. Um, she's got a couple of mugs as well. Actually got one coming in the post. Might do an unboxing on that one. Um, but these are all mine. So... I haven't even got them in order, but I remember the order about. So my first mug is this one. So I got this years ago. Um, one of my aunts got it for me because I just saw it in a shop. And I was just like, I have to have this as a kid. I don't know why. Um, it's just the plain graphic sort of mug. Sharpshooter written on it and two revolvers and roses. I don't know why I wanted it. It's cool though. It's really nice. It's from... RSW International Limited, not about mugs, I don't know. But yeah, the fact that, uh, that I've had this mug for so long, I probably got this when I was like some stupid, like 12 or something. So <laughs> it's really old now. Um, then the next one is pretty much a time skip. So we've got this mug. So my partner got me this mug. Um, she got it from Dunelm and I just, I don't know, I guess I was looking around online and I kept on the internet always seeing really nice mugs and um, this is when I was starting to drink coffee all the time and stuff and she thought, you know, I'm going to get him a nice mug and she got me this one. So this is the first one I've got. It's a big sort of round mug, your typical big mug, as I, as I just say. Um, but yeah, really nice piece. Um, it's got this really nice sort of grainy, almost crackly like texture around the sides. The handle's okay, not the best for me, um, but it's it's okay. Um, and then it's got the sort of running, like the top rim of it looks like it's flowing down into the pattern of the mug. And inside it's just plain, but. It's really nice, big, it's sturdy, and I was obsessed with this mug for ages, absolutely ages, um, until I got the next one. So this is where it's gonna start getting a little hazy. I don't know if it's this mug or this mug. Mm. Yeah, I think it's this mug. So this is the third one. So this one's from Morrison's, because Morrison's, believe it or not, actually have a really nice array of mugs. Um, I highly recommend you go to uh, Morrison's if you want a nice mug, just to start off with, get something cheap and cheerful. So it's a really short one. I use this in my DeLonghi all the time because it's short enough for it to go to go under the machine. Um, it's got these striped stoneware, and then it's got these gold speckles all over it, and then gold speckles around the rim as you can see it's very nice and then on the inside it's got speckles again 
So yeah, this one's just a casual one. It's got an uneven surface as well. I don't know how much you can tell, but the surface is very bumpy, which is nice, gives it that sort of handmade stone crafted feel. So that's a nice one. And then this should be the third one. Um, I think this was another Dunnett one, or was it Morrison's? No, this is the Morrison's. Uh, it's a bit bigger than the first one, uh, just a bit. But um, yeah, again, amazing pattern. Just look at that. Pattern work on it is gorgeous. Um, handles a lot smaller than the other two, I think in width, but I can grip it okay. Uh, the inside's nothing fancy though, but yeah, really nice. Ignore though, if you can hear running and jumping and crackling, that's my cats. And then, third. So again, this is where it starts getting a little bit, hmm, what is what? Third would be this one. So this is one that I got, so all the first three mugs were just random things that I got. This one was, I think, Christmas present um, from my girlfriend. Um, it's an uneven mug, so it's got bumpy sides to it. It's all chiseled and wonky, as you can see from the front there. Um, handles, got a little circle. Not as practical as the others, not gonna lie. I got this, didn't learn from this mistake, as you'll see later on, but I still love it anyway, because it's quite a tall mug. I think, yeah. It is my tallest mug, so um, yeah, it's got the really nice sort of dark colouring with different sort of patterns or textures almost, and then you've got just the natural ceramic bottom which is nice, and it's grey on the inside. This is Reactive Signature, I think it's TK Maxx, um, but yeah, that's a really nice one, you, you used to really drink out of that one as well. Um, so now because the order's getting a bit fuzzy, I'm just going to show, yeah, I'll just show my last four cheaper ones and then I'll just go to my top three, um, which are the expensive ones. So I've got this one that I got from Matalan, which is quite nice. I love the shape and it's kind of like a matte texture with the pink and then it's like a really pale white that almost looks blue on the inside. Really nice that mug is. Um, I've got this big one from Dunelm. It's basically like a my cereal mug. Because I like to eat cereal in the mug because I'm weird like that. So this does that. It's all purple top and then it's got the uh, ceramic or clay bottom. This espresso mug again from Dunelm. Really nice. Just gets the job done. One espresso. A traditional one, this is from the range. I just thought it was cute because it had ducks. It comes in a little saucer as well. I thought it was well, well cute. And then, we'll go on to the three. So there's this one that I got for my birthday off of my partner's sibling. Um, oh, gorgeous. This is probably, up to this point, the most expensive mug I've had. Um, I don't know how much it retails for, probably upwards of like 15 to 20 quid. Um, but yeah, the glazing on it, the pattern on it. Um, that's the brand Bloomingville on the bottom there. Just, I hope you can see and I hope that the light from outside doesn't ruin the beauty of this mug because it's insane. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous mug, handles really nice. You know, I've got space from the mug so I don't get burnt. Um, it's a wonky as well, as you can see, it's not all within perfect shape, um, which is really nice. And the inside is just beautiful as well. Oh, love this mug. Um, so yeah, then, from my new favourite mug company is uh, a girl who owns a company called 53 North Ceramics. 
Um, can't remember their names, really bad. Because um, I've got two mugs from them, a third coming from my partner. Um, but they're making handmade mugs. Um, I believe up north, because it's North Ceramics. But these are just, check this. So I got this for my birthday this year. Um, and this is called their Espresso Chubby, or like Little Chubby. Um, little round fella, round handle. Again, not the most practical, but I like it, I get it. Um, the colours on it are just to die for. You can really see the craftsmanship, the blue at the top. And then there's like this really dark colour just around the rim. I hope you guys can see that. It's gorgeous. The handle's got a lot of colours going on. Which is also really nice. And then on the inside as well. These are just really awesome, awesome mugs. Absolutely love these mugs. And then we've got the latest one, which I literally got yesterday. This is their Fat Belly. Um, oh God, the colour on this, that sort of pale sea blue or sky blue is just phenomenal. And I'm a real big fan of the top of the lip around. How that looks is really nice. And I'm, I'm okay with the handle, it does touch the mug, but a lot of my mugs do that, so it's just something that I have to get used to. But, just absolutely stunning. And then that's the bottom with their logo and the inner side. So yeah, that was just a look at my mug collection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some inspiration. So yeah, take care guys. Peace.